20. I'm the crossroads king in this wretched land. You found me in this, but I'm a better man. I could see a hidden like from the star. You feel jagged bones was a beating heart. And that heart is yours, or what I have left. So take my secrets, take them off my chest That's why I'm here, I've been broken too So maybe you can fix me and I'll fix you Don't hold back when you're right now There's nothing left here to keep us out Hello everyone, today we are gonna make some computer player, so we'll have some programming today on uh, Lua programming language. So uh, first uh, let me show you what it's all about. So we make a computer player for a Pong game. Uh, I've done the Pong game uh, some videos ago in a tutorial um, which is posted on uh, my YouTube channel. You can watch it right now and learn how to make your own Pong game for uh, Windows, Mac, Linux and Android. So, first I copy my uh, Pong game. into in progress because I'm working on it and I'm gonna call it uh, Pong 2 because this is the second version of Pong so we have only two files here I'm uh, gonna explain you what uh, the both files mean uh, I'm using Love 2D framework uh, Google that it's a very very good uh, framework to start with you can learn a lot how to make any type of games uh, 2D games mostly uh, you can't. It's pretty difficult to make 3D games with this uh, thing. You have endless opportunities to make a lot of games, even network games. I'm thinking about making a pong, uh, a network pong game, but the problem is uh, thinking them. It's very, very, very difficult. So uh, we have two files here. This is the main where the magic happens, and this is just a config file where uh, we put everything uh, the details of our uh, pong game so first i'm uh, gonna call my game uh, pong um, versus ai let's change the title This, okay, this uh, must be without space because I don't like uh, to have um, the save folder with spaces. It might cause some problems. So this is the save folder. This is the title of the game. So, we save it. And now we go to the main. Here, everything, uh, it's the game. Okay, let's first see the game. Okay, so we have two players. I'm playing against myself because I don't have anyone else here to uh, assist me so this is the problem I <laughs> it's pretty hard to play yourself you see you get yourself uh, beaten by your own so I want to play against an AI if I just uh, use one hand I uh, it's getting a lot of very boring okay finally he touched it now so we are gonna make an AI, not really an AI, a computer player for a Pong game. First, we want to know how our game works, how um, um, our player uh, sends the input he have. So, we have here in Love Update 
we have player 1 input, player 2 input. I'm thinking about uh, using the player uh, hmm, player 2 no player 1 will be our computer player so this is how it uh, looks like if I press W gets up if I press S gets down okay I can make an AI that will do that will um, press the button we will not actually press the button but will um, will um, send the input he wants to do I'm thinking about uh, using something similar to this or not, we'll see about it so let's uh, first see how the game works okay this is how everything works so I'm thinking about having a question to set player 1, player 2 and um, having against players I mean uh, to have um, a versus against computer or a versus against um, player so how we are gonna do that I'm thinking about first using uh, to have uh, two button press one for uh, against computer and two for uh, playing against a player a real player so we need uh, a key input somewhere like here so we are gonna make a function that will receive key strokes okay so if we have the key one and if we have the key two and end so we have to call this first we are gonna uh, tell the game that we are uh, playing in um, player one mode so we have players one okay so this will load here here and here and we'll do players 1 and players 2 this will tell the game that we are uh, playing in uh, against a real player and this will tell the game that we are playing against an AI and both will call love load which is called by default by the first initialization of the game uh, I want I'm thinking about changing this but uh, not for now okay so now let's uh, separate this so if we take this one if we have players uh, uh, equals 2 we'll have the ability uh, the other player will control uh, his uh, both will control uh, their uh, pad and this will be AI okay if we start now we can't control the other pad only if we press 2 and we restart the game and we can now control it so we need a message that will tell that we are playing against the computer or uh, against uh, AI this will be later on so now let's make the AI how the AI will be now it's the fun part now you um, be interested in how the AI it's done so first we are gonna take this here and this will tell what to do so we make an AI uh, that will do some action and we call here action AI or um, let's say computer action zero zero will mean nothing so let's make a here some comments so we will remember so zero means no action one means up two means down 
So, this will, uh, okay, where do we have that? If this is 1, we'll go up. If this is 2, we'll go down. And now the fun part. We are going to make a new function that will uh, uh, be the mind of the AI. So we call it um, computer uh, think. This is where uh, he thinks. Uh, his what uh, to do in the game. So now the AI must know where the ball is and what to do if the ball is there. How how we gonna do that? In pong game, it's very simple. We have X and A. What we are gonna use? You bet. A. We need the A axis to move the AI player when the ball is approaching him. We can do that without uh, him uh, to care about if the ball is approaching him or not. But to make the computer player more human, uh, we don't want uh, him to look uh, very stupid, like uh, you saw in very old games where the AI was very very uh, stupid and annoying sometimes. So let's first make the simple part and then make it a bit more complex to make it more um, human-like. We can also set difficulties and stuff like that. So we need to know where is the ball. So the ball is this one and the two I guess it means the position of our ball in A axis. So if um, the ball is higher or um, not higher than um, our position which is position P1 then we are gonna do something else uh, here will we ask F then 2 uh, will be smaller than our position P1 but this uh, yeah this is good okay we do here the action computer action we tell it what to do so if the ball it's higher than us which means it's down because uh, um, in graphics uh, everything is upside down upside down in uh, the a axis we are gonna do down and here we are gonna do up and if you are equal we do nothing this will look a bit uh, awkward now if we are gonna test it because um, uh, he'll move constantly until he finds a good place so let's try it okay um, let's try this maybe I was wrong mm. ah, uh, I know why it doesn't work because we are not calling this function so this function never gets called so we call it before everything happens here and let's start it see the AI is heading towards it and he's moving <laughs> very weird okay we can do this all long all day we can learn him some uh, moves for now he's moving um, okay I guess we are stuck here <laughs> uh, okay this will never end okay I did that end. Uh, this is, is uh, in a hard difficulty he'll make almost no mistake okay uh, it's almost impossible to beat him yeah it's impossible okay I see the never mind I, I thought that uh, the score is wrong but it's not 
let's go to this one. Okay. So now, now let's make it uh, make the AI. Uh, let's uh, stupid and make him uh, not move so stupid. He moves very very weird because uh, he's acting every uh, step he takes. He moves very quickly and tries to get that. It's um, kind of annoying. Okay, so now we make a timer and we use us clock. This is a clock that counts from the start of the application. So we make something like this. Okay, let's make the thing a bit faster. And now, if computer thing timer is uh, smaller than our clock, no, this way, then return. So we do this, and now the AI will move uh, um, kind of weird. <laughs> Okay, now we add some toleration because uh, as you look, he moves every time, he can't find the uh, position where to stop. So we are gonna add uh, here a bit uh, like 10, here minus 10, and now he'll uh, I'll beat him now. Okay. We must look at the speed. Let's see the speed. Let's see his speed. It's 10 actually. So um, I'm thinking about uh, giving the possibility to AI to change the speed. So we have now another thing, another uh, variable that we set the speed. So for now we start with 10 and we remove this with we need to uh, make it so it slows down when the ball is approaching it. The AI is approaching the ball. Okay. Uh, let's make this a bit quicker. Okay. I need to remember the math function to get positive errors. Um, let me see the documentation in the meantime because I don't remember. Okay, I found it. Okay. Um, This should do it. Uh, or not. Okay, we have forget to um, add the speed here. So this is why uh, it didn't work. Okay, he moves uh, better, as you can see. He 
place less uh, stupid. Okay, the game is not the best game uh, ever made. I need to improve the game a lot. But to demonstrate that you can make an AI uh, computer play very easily. Okay, <laughs> uh, this is pretty bad. Oh, I've lost. Oh, no, I win. The I lost. Okay, let's tweak it a bit. Make some more uh, tweaking. Okay, let's give it less speed. Let's think speed. Okay, now it's uh, where I uh, lost. Okay, now is the time to make the AI stop moving when the ball is approaching towards me because uh, he looks very weird when uh, he does that. So, we have here something that tells the game what direction is. So, this is the direction. So, we check if, if the direction is. Uh, one then return and I don't know which direction is to change so we need to change to zero okay no to I guess it's two yeah it's two okay he thinks very slowly let's make him uh, think a bit faster very fast okay he's losing oh I did lose okay we need to make him uh, more sensible to that. So let's set 10 again. So he will move. No, again he's. Uh, I want to make him um, move uh, that towards middle of his position. So let's see. His position is. Uh, I, I want to know his size. Okay, where is the size? Okay, it's 20. I guess. No, no, it's not 20. Mm. Let's see on the drawing. Here you can see how big it is. Okay, so it's uh, 90. It's 90, so we can uh, make here plus uh, 45. Uh, I guess plus 45 here. Uh, no. Hmm. 45 minus 45. Okay, let's try it first. Okay, it's even worse. So let's type plus, minus, and here minus 45 plus. Okay, let's see. Uh, no. Okay, let's try again the other way. Um, <laughs> he moves very weird. Okay, let's remove this. Probably it's not the best idea. 
to do that. Okay, let's see now. Okay, not what I wanted. Okay, up. Okay, the problem is it's uh, up. So let's try both. Um, this is down. So both plus. Okay, now it does work. Okay, I'm losing. Uh, he's losing too. You need to do a lot of tweaking. As you can see, the game is not very properly um, made. Even the ball is moving kind of weird. I need to do a lot of tweaking to make the game uh, be more fun. Okay. Let's beat him. Okay, we did. So we have a computer AI, uh, computer player, which uh, works not very well. When he slows down, he makes that mistake. Okay, I want to set the speed lower. And I'm gonna do this. Okay. Uh, it's too slow now. Let's try 8. And this will be 5. Okay, he doesn't move so weird anymore. And he is a master now. He will beat me. Okay. Now we have to make the AI table so you can't beat him now he's impossible to be beaten look how uh, good he is dang it okay I'm trying to <laughs> beat my own uh, computer player and I can't he's moving too fast okay uh, okay we got one So we can now restart the game by pressing 1 and the game will start again. And we can press 2 and have two players. Okay, I want to I want the position to be in middle when the game starts for the first time. So the position of the players will be this should do it um I guess you have to do plus no even worse <laughs> minus mm, let's try 90. It's okay. So when we press one, we start again. It should be around here. Hmm. Uh, no, hate. Uh, my 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 mistake. Oops. Okay, now uh, it's in middle. Okay, let me try again. Oh, my mistake again. I'm not the best uh, Pong player, so so this is all about how to make a computer uh, player for a Pong game. With just few lines, you can make a very nice uh, computer player that's uh, beating you, and you can't never beat him. Okay, now let's make him beatable. So how we do that? We make him slower. 
of course so we give him six and he'll be slower okay the problem is he's not very slow so we can beat him now as you can see okay he does some mistakes some stupid mistakes okay how to fix that where is the last one this uh, will make him a bit faster fast enough to catch up the ball when he's moving very slow okay let's see now see it's a bit faster uh, maybe also the problem uh, is caused by um, this plus we can uh, that we must add here first and now uh, should, uh, should do it okay this plus we remove it this we set to 6 and let's see okay um, we broke it <laughs> uh, let's try 3 No. Uh, okay, let's uh, divert that. Okay. So. It's a good AI. No. Dang it. Okay, I want to move to remove the slow uh, movement. Because I don't like it. And make it somehow uh, to stop when it is in his range. This is getting a bit more complex. So we need to have Hmm. Can I actually use this? I'm not sure uh, if uh, we'll do it. And magically, it did. Okay. Okay, no, not that way. And you're gonna lose. <laughs> Damn you, AI. You're good. A good AI. No. Okay, and now you get it. No. Take it. Up. Okay. Not good. There you go. Ah. He knocks all my tricks. So that is how you make uh, computer AI. Thank you for watching for now. Maybe we will have some uh, quick too. Why not tonight? I'm not very sure. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to follow on Twitch if you want more programming. And uh, if the video, is, of course, it's gonna be on YouTube soon can also subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.